Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to Dungeon Keeper. So we're about to boot up the next level here, we're gonna get that going. So I'm after Lord Avaricious this time. He's a greedy lord. So we gotta mine out all the gold to get him out of there. But you gotta be careful that you don't mine it all out before you're ready to actually fuck with the dude. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, the only... The only place where I actually need a door is there. So I can mine out all this crap. So I got a few new rooms in the last episode, which I'm going to put to very good use. So first, I got to get all this set up. So the big thing in this dungeon is the new rooms that I've found. So I have the old classics, the lair, the hatchery, the library, and the training room. But now I also have the treasury, which does literally exactly what you expect. I build it, and then I can now store more gold. Because this, your main dungeon heart, has a max capacity of, I think, 16 grand. So now I can actually store more than that, which is obviously going to be really fucking useful because I'm going to need more than that. That. And I also got the workshop, which lets me build traps and doors, which help fortify the dungeon. So I'm just going to let these guys... Well, this side's mostly done. I can probably start building out. So one of the things to note about the workshop is it's very cool, but the, the people who mostly work in the workshop, they're slow as fuck. Like, you get those bile demons. That guy you saw doing, like, the nunchaku with the, the chickens... Those guys, they're extremely slow, so you don't want to put this very far from like where they're going to sleep and where they're going to eat. So that's why I'm going to make the lair right here, and I'm going to put the hatchery... Uh, I'm going to need a little bit more money, I guess, but I'm going to put the hatchery right up there. Um, fuck. I don't really ha Well, I think I can probably build a 3x3. Three which is enough to get going, and then we're just gonna have to fucking start mining out this gold, because fuck, man. I don't really have much of a choice here. So, yeah, thankfully he didn't fortify that wall. It would've taken fucking forever to dig through. So, yeah. The hatchery's gonna be here, the lair's here, and then he can just fucking walk down there. He's not the only one who can work in the workshop. You also get trolls, and they're actually more common, but I don't think they're quite as good. I'm not sure which I'll actually get in this level. But it's important to, like, just keep that centralized. Otherwise, you're going to be constantly getting messages saying, Your bile demon is unhappy because he has no food. And he's, like, all the way over he there walking slowly towards it. Oh, I got a firefly! These things are pretty fucking weak, almost completely useless, but they can go, like, just crazy places. Like, they'll fly everywhere, and they can find shit for you. That's, like, their deal. And here's the troll, the guy who's going to work in my workshop. Yeah. He's definitely important to have. So right away i got to build some doors. So that people can't just fucking bust in here. So now they have to go through a door if they want to get into my dungeon. Now I only have the weakest doors, wooden doors. They do about as much as they sound like they do, which is not much. They're made out of fucking wood. But, much better to have than nothing. Oh wow, that hatchery built itself really weird. I only have one central fucking chicken house, but it's fine. It's it's fine. Okay, so I gotta build a library here. That way I can get in my fucking wizards to do shit, and then I'm also gonna need a training room. And as you can see, my firefly is just kind of buzzing around, exploring this area for me. Places where I really would have no way to explore on my own. My imps can only go as far as the land stretches. Oh, there's a fucking dwarf. We're gonna have a fight soon. Yep, yeah. alright, who do I got? I got... Your doors are locked with one left click. There, have all them fight them. And everybody's gonna get experience for it too. Assuming... Oh, he's just backing up. He's gotta hit a wall or something. There, there. Fuck him up, fuck him up! Hopefully he dies on land, because then I'll get his gold too. Fuck. What a little bitch. Come on, die. Firefly. There, have, have them behind him. Fucking take him out. Yeah, okay. And my Firefly can keep exploring. Oh, there's the secret item, too. Fuck. I'm sure it's guarded, though. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, he still got hit even though I grabbed him. Fuck. And something I haven't really mentioned because it hasn't been that big of an issue yet is that you do have a payday. You have to pay all these creatures. Oh, I need them to come much further down to be able to get hit. Like, you have to pay all these guys. So you do have to pay attention to your gold. Alright. Take them out. I'm counting on you guys. They're just shitty-ass dwarves. Come on. And if I actually had picked up anybody before they got an actual lair, if they die, they're gone. Like, they just die. Straight up. So, that's something important to keep in mind as well. Okay, so to be able to get the secret items, I'm gonna have to take these out. And I'm not gonna have time to take those out if I mine all the gold. Uh, and you're getting fucked up. Oh my god, Firefly, why are you... Okay, did he die? He died. Even though I grabbed him, he died. So he's gone. We can't claim that area. I have to leave one gold, he'll have to go around, claim this area, and take out those sentry turrets. It's tough. Okay, so now, if I'm lucky, I might be able to aggro these warlocks into fighting... Oh god, although this warlock should not be there because he's about to die. I need you guys to fight the fucking traps. These guys too. Just everybody. Kill the traps. Kill the traps. Hopefully don't die. If, if they die on like foreign soil, they're gone for good because I can't recover them in time. That firefly is dead. So yeah. Oh god, you, you don't. Hide, hide. Come on guys. Come on guys. Okay, oh, I got a level 2 Firefly in there. Maybe this will go a little bit better. Oh, and now if they die, I can probably claim the shit fast. Well, one of the trolls died. Or got knocked out, so... Anyways. Yeah! There we go! Although I think there's heroes in, down there as well. Who might get, like, drawn out because my imps are around. But, you know, like, so you win some, you lose some. Oh god, the, the Lord of the Land is in there. Okay, imps, 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 stop. I want him to go back in. I don't want to fight him yet. If that guy comes down, he's gonna just gonna get fucked up by my turrets anyway, so... That doesn't really matter. Oh, okay, so I got a magic item that lets me see everything everywhere. So, now I can see if there's anything else I actually want to claim. This is a portal from which heroes can enter. If I claim it myself, it destroys it, but... I don't think it's actually worth it. I think it's probably just more worth... ...just fucking taking on the Lord himself. And to do that, all I gotta do is just mine out all his gold. And now... Now the good stuff happens. Oh, they didn't finish upgrading my Thunderbolt, unfortunately, but... I might even have enough to just fucking... ...do what I did last time. Yeah, I, I managed to do it. <laughs> so that's, that's the gist of this game. Although the levels get increasingly difficult and intricate... ...as time goes on. Like, each level has, like, something that makes it unique. Like, this one, obviously, it's mine all the gold to draw the guy out. There's one where, like, you have to go undetected. There's others where you have to fight other dungeon keepers. Like, it gets really cool and really intense. Oh, we got another cutscene. This time it's a warlock. He's fucking with one of my imps. Or trying to. I kind of remember these cutscenes, but I don't really remember these cutscenes. <laughs> I would be kind of scared if I was that imp. You're going to be stuck there for a long fucking time, man. Ah, noir. And it seems like these high scores are for, like, the entire game. And so I'm sure that this dude... This is not a real dude. It's just a fucking thing that was put in there, you know? Okay, so this one I have to take out Lord Ludwig, who knows that I'm coming for him. Okay. He has entrusted your destruction to his goodly warrior. He destroyed his own drawbridge, yeah. Equal to the task. For our part. Oh, and that what they're in right now, that's a room called a guard room that I can actually get. Okay. Alright, so as always, I kinda gotta get things set up a little bit and then we can really get cooking. 
All right, guys, so I'm in pretty good shape. I've got my library, my training room, my treasury, my hatchery, my lair, and a little smaller than I would like, but still functional workshop. So I'm in pretty good shape. I could actually expand my treasury out to the side because treasury is one of the only ones where it doesn't matter if it's five by five it's just each square can hold a certain amount of gold so why not and then we might as well start digging for the portal because i'm actually ready to get some monsters up in this bitch so let's go and i do believe yet yeah, there's one extra spell i'm not sure what spell that is actually it might be the one that lets you see into the darkness a little bit so you can kind of figure out what's coming up. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, imps, I, I really need you guys to actually claim it, not just hit and run, like actually make this a thing. And then I also need to put some doors on immediately so that we don't get fucked up by heroes invading. Claim and I should be in pretty good shape, actually. This is actually a room, if I remember correctly, that I think... I think I should wait until I have a few creatures in here before I fucking go busting down doors, because it could end really terribly for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, th I think I should wait. I think I should wait. I want to, though. I really want to. Oh, and something I haven't been doing, but you can totally do, is you can, um, you can change your angle, by the way, guys. I just prefer this regular angle more than pretty much any other angle, <laughs> so I always use it. But you can mess around with that if that's your deal, if that's what you're into. Oh, I just found a guard room. That's something that I definitely want to have. Because it lets me get a new type of creature up in this dungeon. And it also, anybody who camps a guard room, if heroes come near me, they can alert me and draw everybody in the dungeon to come help. So that's super, that's super useful and super important. They gotta actually get around to fucking claiming it, though. The there we go, I got the guard room. The guard room. I can't build Trust these on my own yet, I don't think. But see, it now will detect any enemies in that radius. So this thing's super useful. Yeah, I know how it works. The creatures that it attracts, though, they're good, but they're also really annoying in that it gets a lot of them, and they never train on their own. So you're just kind of stuck with these level 1 bitches that don't do anything. There's also a guard room on this side. Oh, I got my new spell as well. This lets me possess somebody. Let me actually save before I do that, because this game, I mean, it could crash. I hope it doesn't, though. Where's, uh, where's somebody? Yeah, okay, let's possess this troll. Oh, God, it's so old school. It's arrow keys to move. So I can actually just kind of move around as this troll and do whatever I want. And one of the cool things about possession and possessing creatures is that some of them, some of them will move differently, some of them have different abilities, yes. And some of them will actually see differently. Like if I had possessed one of those fireflies, oh, I can actually build shit in my workshop too. If I had possessed one of those fireflies, I would see through the lens of like a bug. You know what I mean? Like it, it's pretty fucking cool. There's the Dark Elf. They're the guard room people. Their sniping skills are sharp as bolted arrows which she Yeah, they're they're a little a bit annoying though. Said I always want them to be leveled up, but they never train. It's like you put them to train, and they'll go and train for a bit, then they'll get hungry, they'll leave, and then they they'll just go back to guarding. They won't do shit. It's kind of frustrating. I think we're ready to fucking dig dig north though. And see, there's a guard room up here, which is why you I was holding off, but I didn't remember that there were other guard rooms. This would be the one that I would want my elves to actually patrol. These side ones I don't think matter that much. Like, I don't think anybody actually invades. You'll create imp spell they will you'll invade create from the north, though. And see, they actually want you to use these little areas to the side here to build a lair and a hatchery for your guards. I don't really feel like it's necessary. They can fucking make the walk. They can use the exercise. Maybe they'll stop by the fucking training room on their way there. They won't. They never do. Oh, I got some fucking heroes. 
Yeah, shitty ass dwarves though. Everybody's going to get paid though. I don't want to like steal them when they're getting paid. Cause then they get angry because they don't get their money. You know, I'll just. There's no guards. Everybody left to get paid. Ah, oh, fuck you, you guys. Come on. Somebody's got to fucking hold down the fort, like, dude. Yeah, there, there we go. Their bows are doing almost jack shit, though. Well, you know what? You guys have had enough time to get paid now, too, right? I hope. Maybe. They're probably still gonna bitch at me. And see, they intentionally did not make anything connecting to these hero portals so that I'm not able to claim the hero portal and destroy it. They intentionally made it so that you have to be careful for heroes. Alright, so I think the thing to do now is going to be a full charge on this front door. I don't think the front door actually loops around to the back. That's a weird sentence. But I think this is going to be what I got to do. It's just fucking a full-on assault. Oh, because there's another portal there. Yes. Everybody, everybody fucking take him out. Yeah. Fucking kill the heroes, man. Nobody likes them. Just fucking gang up on them and destroy that shit. And so I don't think I ever actually talked about this or got into it, but it, when you have a portal, you actually get 15 creatures, which is important. You can have up to 15 from a portal, from your first portal. And then when you get your second one, your third, whatever, you can get an extra five per portal. Now you can get creatures not from portals. You can just find some randomly wandering around in dungeons, or there's some other ways that you can get them later on in the game. So that's important to note, but just from each each portal you can only get an additional five and from your original portal 15 total so that's something you definitely got to keep in mind okay and so something I'm gonna have to figure out how to do actually is going to be how to fire a bow while possessing a creature so let's see if I can figure this out it's something like is it Z to zoom no it's usually the number keys okay oh I think I might have just crashed my game yeah, I crashed my game by doing this. Oh, that's not a good sign. I'll reload it though, I saved. Let's see if doing this is also going to crash my game. No, there, I, I there. I'm able to switch to my second weapon, but how do I zoom? I remember something super fucking esoteric. It was like the home button or something like that. Where even is that on a modern keyboard? I don't know how to go into sniper mode, fuck. And I really wish it was WASD, so that I'm not like reaching across my keyboard to do this shit. Shit. All right. Has become unhappy because she has no food. Yeah, probably because I was possessing her for need a larger training room. fucking forever, man. Oh, and now my angle's all weird and shit. Ugh. Yeah. So, what they want me to do is use a dark elf to zoom in here. But I don't think I'm actually going to be able to. Oh, it's a level one. Give me, give me one that's higher than level one, please. They're all level one. Fuck. All right, I don't have much time, so let's try and do this. I need two. Oh God! Why did I shoot it at the wrong one? Shoot it at him. Shoot it at him. Come on. I see you have discovered a magical. Did I? Did I get him? Oh, I killed him! A new species of Whoa, I was never really able to do that before. While I'm in while I'm in possessed mode, let's fucking try and take this thing out. There is a way to zoom in while you're in possessed mode, like a sniper mode, but I don't know how to do it. Oh god, am I almost dead? I'm almost dead, aren't I? Yep. I gotta I, I don't think I can actually do it with this dark elf. You know, let's possess somebody who's a little bit better than this. So there's not a lot to like this possession mechanic. But I mean all your creatures do have different abilities, different attacks. And like I mentioned, like the bug ones, you will actually see as a bug. And some of them have like tints or like weird shit like at one point you get like a knight and you actually your line of vision is just like the hole in his helmet. They 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 did what they could, you know? Like this this is pretty fucking basic, but this game is... They put a lot of polish into this game, man. I really wish number three had actually come out. 
I would love to fucking play Dungeon Keeper 3. So the idea here is that you can group everybody here and try and do a charge, and you can possess group them to do your charge, or you can dig around. So what, what, what do you guys think I'm going to do? I'm going to fucking dig around this shit and just tunnel right in there and just fuck them up. The only thing I'm going to have to worry about is this there, but as soon as they dig through, I can just possess a troll and fucking make shit happen. Speaking of, I am going to level everybody up twice with my magical items. Actually, you know what? I'm curious on if I could actually run in and kill the Lord as a tr as this troll. So after I take this out so that my imps can fucking do their thing, I think I'm going to try and just charge the Lord of Var Varius or whatever his name was. Lord Varys from Game of Thrones. I'm just going to charge Lord Varys as a troll and see if I have any success. I'm curious. I, I don't think I've ever tried this, at least in this level. Okay. Okay, buddy. Deep breaths. There he is. Oh, they're all after me. Fuck. Well, if he dies, he dies. I mean... Oh, God. He's he's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Let's, let's run. Let's run. Maybe I'll bring them with me. And I'll have lured them to where I can actually attack. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was harder than I was expecting. There was too many of them. If it had only been the one, I could have fucking done it. Uh, and he stayed inside like a little bitch. All right. Let's just fucking... Let's, let's end this. Come on, guys. I've got so many of you. Don't let me down now. Oh, uh, but there's going to be nothing to aggro them after th this guy dies. I don't have any magic to keep him here. Fuck. I gotta wait for the fucking Lord to come through the door. There he is, there he is. Go after him, everybody, come on. I think we pretty much have this in the bag. I don't even need to help. I'll let them kill him for once. And there we go. Beat the level. And now we get this really awkward cutscene. I did like the fact that when he spawns in water, the water kind of like smokes. I always thought that was a nice touch, but yeah, this cutscene hasn't aged particularly well. <laughs> like this, now you see how he's like, there's smoke all around him. I thought that was a nice touch of polish back in the day, but yeah, and then he's going to bend down and he's, he's not really going to have knees or joints because he's just kind of like a flat 3D model that they just put angles on and he's going to grab the gem. Yeah, come on. Maybe we'll get a cutscene out of it though. If we're lucky. Oh, we do get a cutscene. Oh. That poor chicken. <laughs> don't, sh don't show this to Commander Holly. Don't let her see this. That's actually a hero, by the way. A giant is a good guy. So yeah, guys, that's where I'm going to end this episode. And actually this session. I usually do three videos in a session, but this game is kind of long. And it is the kind of game where you want to pace it out when you play it. Like, see see this here where he's actually in a circle. That's the zoom in that I couldn't get to work. Maybe just because my keyboard's too modern. And I don't have those old ass fucking keys that they need to do these things. You can reassign the buttons, but I never... I never like got around to it but yeah guys that's where i'm gonna end this one in the next one we'll continue on our quest to take over the land of good by using our powerful evil fuck this game is fun and yeah guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed and as always i will see you in the next one hey guys my name is rob noir and welcome to a very special game from my childhood that i have wanted to do on the channel for a long time playing this game a lot off camera and I've cleared out about a third of all the worlds that is getting all the power moons, all the purple coins, all the shit that I need to get to 100%.